The non-governmental organization First Step Georgia is 12 years old. With the support of Irish partners, every single member of this organization took their first steps towards supporting children with disabilities during their adaptation to and integration into social life. Programs implemented step by step during work with the children consider every stage of their development. First Step Georgia specialists believe that intervention during the earliest of these stages is indispensable for the effectiveness of the children's future development. We know that the period between the ages of zero and three is especially important for children because this is when the foundation is laid for their future development, physical, intellectual, emotional and psychological. It is therefore very important to provide children with special needs with comprehensive treatment so as to support their healthy development. It is therefore very important to provide children with special needs with comprehensive treatment so as to support their healthy development. Our daycare center, which helps children from the age of three, is ready to accept children who are themselves ready to benefit from the treatment we provide. First Step Georgia successfully carries out activities to prevent children with disabilities from being abandoned and to change existing negative social attitudes. First Step Georgia's Empowering Parents program helps parents get all the information they need. One day, parents might have to face the problem of being told that their child has disabilities. Such news may confuse them, make them feel ashamed or frighten them. This is why the main goal of the Empowering Parents program is to help parents overcome these negative emotions. We work effectively with some groups in order to help them not to lose hope and faith and to create a helpful environment for their children's development. The Empowering Parents program, implemented by First Step Georgia for the past three years, is very important because parents learn as they raise their children. It is of course important that parents worry about their child and that they are ready to do anything for it, but one should not forget that all these things must be given in the right way. The idea behind First Step Georgia came following the collapse of the Soviet Union, when the state no longer cared for orphanages. I was the wife of the Speaker of Georgia's Parliament, and I decided to help these children. We went to Caspi State Orphanage and took 24 children with the most severe and profound disabilities into our care. The organization's first goal was to care for these children. Helping them began as a simple idea, but I later discovered that Jane Corboy, the EU ambassador to Georgia's wife, was also interested in helping them. I approached her and told her that I would do anything for these children, and we've been working together for the past 15 years. The experience of working with the first group of children from Caspi State Orphanage will become a good example of how to work with children. In 2000, those children from the orphanage who could not return to their families were moved to the Kedeli Union for Therapy of Socially Vulnerable People Community Center. Nowadays, children live in this center. It has become their permanent home, and the children use the skills they were taught by First Step Georgia. They have also learnt other skills, such as professional development. 
Some of them take part in working therapy sessions, some have jobs, and others are preparing to be employed. Our main goal is to try to work with families. All our experience indicates that good family relations are vitally important and almost irreplaceable for a child's development. This is why our activity aims to help families so as to avoid the institutionalization of children and to help them raise their children, to help the children's development. First Step Georgia provides a home-based care program for children whose disabilities prevent them from integrating into society at some stage of their life. The program's multidisciplinary group consists of a psychologist, a speech therapist, a pediatrician, a social worker, an occupational therapist, a family teacher and a specially trained nurse. These people all work together in order to achieve the child's individual plan for development. The program's effectiveness and usefulness have been proven by the good results which it has achieved over the years. Of the ten children who took part in our project, seven have already left. Some of them went to kindergarten, some to the Integrated Center for Child Development Services, and others to our daycare center. In order to help children integrate into the environment of Public School 100 in Tbilisi, First Step Georgia created a special class, a small orchestra, which is a miniature model of ideal society. In this class, children with special needs study folk music with other children of their age and make new friends. One of the ideas which became a very successful experiment is the orchestra of Georgian traditional musical instruments which we created at the school. Children with special needs join the orchestra and learn to play Georgian folk music with other children of their age. First Step Georgia took a big step forward when it created this special class, which is an example of inclusive education. One of the main goals of First Step Georgia's activity is to help children take part in public life. Making friends at an early age helps children to adapt, to adopt the right attitude, and to learn more about children with special needs. This is why First Step Georgia cooperates with other organizations in order to coordinate projects together. Our idea is to help children adopt the right attitude towards children with special needs. When some of them later become teachers, they will know how to care for these children. One of the main problems in schools nowadays is that teachers admit to having no experience in dealing with children with special needs. This may be very long-term planning, but we thought that this would be a good thing to do, and we have already approached several kindergartens and schools. We are now in regular contact with them, and we shall see what the future holds. The daycare center provides several activities for children, such as singing classes, physical education, science, art, playtime, and a sensory room. Each of these activities aims to support every child's individual academic and social development. The main goal of First Step Georgia's activity is to help children acquire necessary skills and support their self-development. First Step Georgia also actively cooperates with social services in order to insert socially vulnerable children into daycare programs. 
The most dangerous thing is when a child stops wanting to discover the world around it. It is actually very difficult to stop the child from wanting to do so, but it can happen. What we would like to do in the future is to share our experiences and encourage others to try. We of course realize that one small daycare center cannot change the world, but such a center can become a good example and a successful precedent which can inspire or be copied by others. First Step Georgia and other organizations such as this one which found the courage to take these important steps over the years have taught us and parents the importance of developing alternative social services and the need for daycare centers which enable children with special needs to enjoy a normal social life despite their limited activities. They prove how important it is to give every single child the opportunity to develop and to lead an active social life despite possible health conditions. I think that this social center and this project reveal the existing need for what we nowadays call child care and for the development of the government's plan for child care services. The government's childcare plan aims to replace existing institutions for socially vulnerable children with family-oriented services. The final goal of this plan is that every child should have its own family. UNICEF is supporting the government of Georgia to transform the child care system. We do this with the support of USAID and other major bilateral actors. But essentially, it's the government's reform. Um, but it's incredibly important that organizations such as First Step um, and, and, and others, many others, um, uh, continue to advocate why it's important to have these services, such as early intervention, daycare, um, and home care for children with disability. The mark of an inclusive society, a society that is developed in the modern age, is one that includes children and people with disabilities fully, treats them as equal citizens, and that means an allocation of funding and support. Um, and at the center of this reform is the Georgian family. We help entire families plan their future and understand what their next step could be. As soon as a family can see future possibilities, it becomes more active and organized and does not become discouraged.